This week on A Twink and a Redhead, today we're talking about high school, our high school experience. Oh my god, were we horned up? We didn't realize how kind of crazy and raunchy and, and kind of sexual our high school experience was until like we went to Florida State in the South and people people were virgins. Oh, this might be crazy. You know the way people like walk around on Ash Wednesday? <laughs> That's how people were walking around our high school hallways with hickeys. You knew a bitch had a crazy weekend when she would show up to school hoodie. wearing an infinity scarf and it was 80 degrees out. <laughs> when a man 30 years your senior sends you a wink, wink, you better be ready to dial 911. You, yeah, and I should have. I wish I did. All of this and more on A Twink and a Redhead, the podcast. Now, DJ, hit that track. A Twink. A twink. And a redhead. 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 Cause when you're 15 and somebody tells you they love you, you're gonna believe them. Hi, you guys. I'm so Abigail. Because <laughs> you have red hair. Yeah. Okay, then I'm Taylor. Um. Okay, I don't know about all that. Seriously? Anyway, how are you? How are you? I'm good. <laughs> I am going through something right now. Well, I'm going through something worse. <laughs> Mine wasn't bad. I'm just oh. going through this kind of renaissance with my Hamilton era. Yeah. I'm sure you've uh, heard we know. it. Well, I, I can't stop listening to the gorgeous lyrics of Lin-Manuel. Oh my, it's like moving me. Lin-Manuel pisses me off though. Okay, we are not the same. What? Well, no, I feel like everyone was gagged over him during the prime of Hamilton, but then something happened if and Lin- he just doesn't get do it for me. He doesn't tickle my p- pickle like that anymore. Okay, I, I honestly think that you're just a victim to that to the disgusting hate he was getting online because if Lynn has I'm a no fans with that honestly if Lynn has no fans grant I'm Who fucking are you? dead yep well i like um Theodosia writes me a letter I like, every what's day it called? he'll never be satisfied yeah satisfied. can you sing History the has beginning um never mind i'm over it Anyway. To the groom. Yeah, to, to the, the groom, groom. To, to the, the groom, groom. To the groom. groom to, to the bride. To the bride. I we DM'd Hamilton last night. They didn't, they didn't answer. <laughs> like begging. Yeah, you know, we said ha and we put like innuendos. You it know, like we put um puns. We'll never be satisfied you until know that we're scene? in the room. You know that scene from the Fire Festival doc where the guy's what? like and I was prepared to suck dick for water. I am prepared to suck cock for Hamilton tickets. I would eat pussy for Hamilton tickets, honestly. Would you? If it was just like one little lick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If it was one little like Ew! like absolutely there's so many things I would do one little lick for. You know How I mean? many licks Does to the center <laughs> of a pussy? <laughs> let's find out all right whip it open oh my god i can't believe y'all are listening i I remember people last season would be like i play this on my alexa and you guys were just moaning and screaming yeah sorry right imagine like a young mom likes us (laughs) and is like driving her kids to preschool and like puts this on in the car why would anyone do that i don't know if yeah, let us know if there are any young moms out there, any milfs. You know what I mean. Do Do you think any we milfs? have like a big milf audience? Oh my god, uh, wouldn't I that be so. great? I hope so. I'd like to milk some milk. <gasps> Wait, I'm Whoa. sorry. We're acting a little unhinged. Um, but the thing I'm going through. Okay. Let's just. <laughs> let's just say, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Right. Wait, I know something that would make oh you God. feel so much better. What? I can't believe I didn't think of it till now. What? Hamilton. <laughs> you should start okay. listening. Because Hamilton's the story of someone who it was too good to be true. And then he got killed. Okay. So you might resonate. Probably. I can't even talk about it. But basically, I yeah. thought something might have happened and it didn't. And I'm whatever. 
it's just story of my life, right? If something you're so excited about doesn't happen, you guys, all you can do is say just my luck, right? And move on. Oh, that is like the best piece of advice ever. Like if something <laughs> terrible happens to you. Just my luck. Just my luck, right? And then Because like how like, do you like it's almost like you're acting Did y'all hear that? The damn ghosts, they know we're up to something right now. The fucking homophobic ghost that walks these halls. Oh my god. Every night before I go to bed, I hear the whispers of slurs in the, <laughs> in the air. Our homophobic no, ghost at it again. It, Y'all, when when June comes around, this place is uninhabitable. Fucking, can, we have to stay at our partner's homes because of the shit that it's, flies in the fucking the apartment. The second. Knives. The second. <laughs> Get it June comes around. This place is what the fuck's her name? Shirley. Nightmare. Her name's like goddamn mm, what is Sharon. Ho- no, I think it's like she's old. Mary Beth. Oh my god! Yeah, Mary Beth goes fucking crazy. Holy shit! Anyways, but um, yeah, just my luck, right? Yeah, like if anything happens, you get laid off, you get dumped, you get cheated on, you fail your calculus exam. There's only a few words that can make you feel better. Just, just my, my luck. luck, right? I was going to say because it like almost, it turns it back on the other party because you're almost, well, you're asking for like agreement. And so they don't know what to say either. And it's also like funny. So you're like, oh, you have a sense of humor. You don't really care that this just happened. Yeah. Even oh. though you're devastated. Oh, you don't care that you're being arrested for hit and run? Okay. Just my, it's just my luck, it's just right? just my luck, Like, right? this happens. Like, uh, I'm used to it. It's I ran a red light and got a $500 fine. Just, just my, my luck, luck right? right? No, because there are people who get away with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But not you. Because No, it's perfect because it removes all fault from you. Yep. And it wasn't your fault. Yep. Oh, speaking, God, no. Speaking of homophobia, I wanted to publicly address our comments that we get on our posts because when they first started they were funny and yeah. they were from like the lgbtq community like i would click on their profiles for those who don't know people comment acronyms on our like boyfriend girlfriend videos we kind of ask for it obviously because like it's a bit where she's a delusional girlfriend to a clearly gay man um but people like started commenting like well, one of my favorite examples was someone commented fantastic acting grant. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I thought I really ate like, that. And earlier that day, I saw that comment, too. And I screenshotted it because I was like, I have to send this to Grant later. Like, oh, my God. That would like just make his day. Yeah. Like, wow. Kudos. But right? then I noticed the F in the sentence, the A in the sentence, and the G in the sentence were capitalized. And what does that spell? Fag. Yep. And so it started, but it was it was funny at first. I guess it is kind of sort of funny still. I don't know. But then some bitches named Kate or Brittany, these white girls started doing it. And I'm like, girl, take that to a different creator I know of. <laughs> <laughs> no, like. But like, we're not, I don't. I'm not People post- get a little too comfortable. I'm not posting those acronyms. That's not for me to post. No, you like, why I mean? are you That's actually... That's not for me to post. Right. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, but someone did. I think it was the one, the video we posted where I'm just giggling. And I forget oh, what the was, sentence was. It was, was. fag hag. No, not even that, Grant. Oh. Someone spelled out ugly. <laughs> <laughs> okay when it's not the f slur anymore i i applaud you or gay like that's basic okay like when it... don't call me ugly <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god that's terrible i didn't mean to agree with that commenter yeah. but when like when the acronym spells something kind of creative and it's not gay or the f slur like i applaud well, that. well someone did but... someone literally posted one an hour ago that i saw that it was a well, long but... sentence spelled out homosexual thoughts uh, Okay, F A plus for effort because you had to fill in the blanks. Okay. You had to fill in the words there. Okay. But gay and F slur and even homo, they're getting really old. Homo just sounds <laughs> like well, crazy. Yeah. I feel like homo was like used in middle school, like also. Well, homo was a step above gay. You know how everyone's like, that's so gay, you're gay. Homo was like, you actually know what it means and you like that's like you mean it oh my god, people would say that like you homo oh my god i remember people would always say you know the fo- the dallas cowboys player tony romo tony homo you should have heard the things that they rhymed romo with what else 
just homo. Oh. Really just homo. Okay. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. Well, okay. Anyway, um let's dive in to the episode, I think, because we have a lot to fucking get off our chest. We do. But also subscribe to our Patreon. Oh my god, guys, we're having an absolute blast over there. <laughs> Oh my god, we're having we're a having, blast. We're having so much fun. We're having a it. fucking ball with our Gorginas. Gorgianas. <laughs> Gorgianas are fucking cocksuckers. Our cocksuckers. We actually I- are. The last week's redacted episode was fucking crazy. I talked about douching, let's just say. Let's just say I learned a lot in the last redacted episode. And yeah. let's just say Don't don't borrow. borrow someone else's <laughs> douche that's all we'll say that's, that's all, all we'll say. say that's all go go subscribe to our patreon if you want to oh my god the lessons we learned yeah okay <laughs> okay today we're talking about high school our high school experience but more specifically the raunchy nasty horniness ...ness of our high school experience, specifically, like, us. Yeah. Oh, my God, were we horned up? Oh, we were definitely all horned up. But, like, we didn't realize how kind of crazy and raunchy and, and kind of sexual our high school experience was until, like, we went to Florida State in the South and people... I was surrounded were, by virgins. ...were virgins. People were virgins or had never had sex. And yet. there's and nothing we like, wrong with it, but I was flabbergasted because... Because we'd be like, oh, my God, this time, sophomore year, I was getting finger blast oh this time <laughs> this time junior year i was sucking cock in the back of a van and the police came and we had to run away and then there's people and they have like full bush <laughs> <laughs> you can have sex with the bush i know but still they no, just like, there were weren't people aware there that, well because we went to school in florida so there was i never knew what young life was in new jersey until we got to florida so i think that was like teaching them to be virgins Wait, what? Young life. What the hell is young oh, life? Oh, it's like a Christian kind of like, I think that they're, they teach abstinence and it was like. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Yeah, but they were like, like. I mean, it's not embarrassing. There were people that I met in college that were like hot and they were in young and they life. Were like, yeah, no, there were definitely. But, but the hot ones who were like waiting for marriage or celibate or whatever. Them, they. Oh, I was going to say, it makes gonna, them kind of hotter. Okay, no, that's your Christian kink. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you talked about that in the past as well. Okay, anyway. But no, I was going to say they're the ones who get married really early because they're like, oh my God, I have to have sex. Well, yeah, because they're trying to get railed. Right. And, and there's then nothing it, wrong And with then that. I'm sorry. Was it really worth it? You got married for for like a five minute ordeal. I mean, everyone. Hey, hey. Everyone has their different beliefs. No, no shame. No judgment. No shame. Unless. <laughs> what? Unless they're judging you or shaming you. Hey. Her. Um, anywho, no, our... we, we went to school in New Jersey, Hills, Hillsborough High yeah. School. Hey, why not? Hillsborough. Shout out. Go Raiders. Go right? Raiders. Go Borough. Go Green. Um, I feel like we were being secretive about our hometown for some reason, but I people mean, already know, especially since we posted so many we videos at the, the Bridgewater yeah, Commons Mall Yeah, we went to the recently. Bridgewater Commons Mall recently and... People were commenting and being like, they're from Bridgewater. And then people would literally reply be like, no, Hillsboro. <laughs> so, fact checking. So it's really not, I guess, that hard to figure it out. But Hillsboro is like a very suburban. It almost gives southernish, but not really. Southern in the way that there's farms well, just, and like Yeah, it's like woods. randomly like the farmland of New Jersey. And like I have memories of my childhood of like... There were people in the woods with Confederate flags, but I'm like, wait, you're that in was New on, Jersey. Babe, that was on your side of town. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I went to this elementary school called Woodfern, and I didn't know this in the moment, but like that was where all the the, the wannabe southern woods like yeah. yay, yay, no, every like there was different like vibes in our town. It was pretty like Bizarre. big town. Anywho. Well, <laughs> high school was crazy because we i literally we were going wild we really were freshman years when i first started actually drinking i know oh ashley drank. i was two years two years deep at this point yeah but also before before we talk about what what was going on outside of school i wanted to talk about little things inside school specifically what we were learning and I had this really, like, when we, were ta- when we were thinking about high school, I had this thought. I was, like, one of my first experiences with improv was actually pretending, like, I read 
that week's <sighs> chapter in like English or something. Like, cause you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we had a, if you, if we were reading a book, you know, I wasn't reading it. Like I don't read. Right. You don't know how. So I would like before the class, like look up spark notes or of something course. like a, get the material, a first read of the material. And then when we would have those, I would thrive in those class discussions without even knowing like what we were reading. I would just take context clues from other people yeah. and I would be like, oh my God, when she did this in that chapter, like I was, did I was you, shook. Did you ever cheat? In what way? Like, looking over at someone? Looking over at someone or like doing something a little sneakier like one time. You know, like those like black tables in like the science classrooms. Yeah. For oh my God. And they would sit across from me. I was so bad at chemistry. Like literally. Same. That, uh, fuck that class. And so there were these like black tables we'd take the tests on. And if you had like an eraser, you could kind of like write stuff. And like you'd kind of be able to see it on the black like table oh, yeah. like from a certain angle so i'd write the formulas like with an eraser while we were like settling in i would show up early and like be like studying at the back oh my seat God. and i would write the formulas and then i would still not get the best grade but better than i would have right you know how people like teachers used to be like no water bottles because i know what y'all are doing meanwhile like, joe schmo over here has an apple watch on and is like getting the answers oh, sent yeah. on his apple watch oh my god i was i didn't cheat i wasn't like that i, was I wasn't doing that but like if me and a friend were sitting near each other i might take a peek yeah i think that and that teaches something else entirely that teaches oh what am i not gonna take community. a peek yeah oh my god was there anything worse than when you would take a peek and you had <laughs> different answers <laughs> on like your entire page yeah or when you go to like a hand in and like you see the person in front of you's like test who you're putting down you're like wait, <laughs> wait that is not rant that was the worst <laughs> or like feeling. scantrons you're handing in a scantron and, and their like, pattern is completely wait, different than yours six d's in a row what? wait a minute yeah what was your go-to guess on a scantron i was always uh, a c probably just like, like my d. bra size probably a d just like my throbbing cock <laughs> yeah no that oh my god wait. I would honestly like, I would love to fill out a Scantron. <laughs> I did miss you, it. Did you guys have standardized testing? Of course, everyone does. Oh. Standardized. Oh, the NJ ass. Well, that was NJ, <laughs> but every state has a Or version. what was in high school? Those were so, standardized testing is so embarrassing and annoying. Like who invented that? Who's in charge of it? Who, the people running it? Even in the classroom, they think they're literally drill sergeants. Oh, Shut up. Oh, my God. You can't God. leave the room. Shut up. All of a sudden, when a teacher becomes a, like a, mod, like a proctor. A proctor. A proctor. Holy shit. They suddenly become like they're the fucking drill sergeant. And you know what? I feel bad for them because probably something happened in their childhood. What do you mean? <laughs> to make them I don't crazy know. proctors? I don't, like, yeah. You know what I mean? It's an interesting... I'm not, it's like, like, fully on board. Because you're so excited to be a bitch. Something must... You must hurt people hurt people, right? Okay, well, so. I have to be I have to be honest. If I was a proctor, I'd oh probably God. go... I'd probably be lusting with power as well. Yeah, but did you have anything happen to you in your childhood, you think? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yep, insane All right, here. anyway, <laughs> high school... Okay, um, let's talk about the horniness. Were you horny in high school? Was I horny? I, I didn't have much opportunity to explore that horniness, but yeah. You yeah. did. Uh, a ton. I was unfortunately on Grinder. It's a tough place but, to be as a minor. Yeah. And you shouldn't be. If you're a minor listening to this, get no, off Grindr. No, literally. You will Come regret on. it at my big old age. Come for real. on. And I feel like, aren't there more out people now? Grinder as a high school student must have been tough. Yeah, because it was all, it was Doug. You remember Doug? Have I talked about damn Doug? I think so. Maybe not. When I was in high school, we we did this thing called Spirit Night, which I'm sure we'll have to touch on. Have we? I don't think we... Right. It's like a pep rally kind of thing. Anyways, we did Spirit Night, and me and Ashley did the video for our grade, and... And we took it seriously. We took it seriously, and you compete against the other grades, and, oh like, God. we would win every year except for <laughs> senior year. Oh. Fuck you. You know who you are. Yeah. You know exactly who you are. Someone screwed us over. Someone screwed us over. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and someone might be... Never mind. We're still mad. I'll stop. Let's just say I used to put this poor 
actually not poor, but I used to put this woman's email in whenever I got the opportunity, if I was signing up for something no, new, if crap. I was getting Wi-Fi. I tell everyone about this. Can we just take a quick side note? Yeah. If there is someone you don't like and you're not a fan of, whenever you're at an airport or like any kind of public place. It and requires they just, you to put your email in. Yeah. It requires you to put your email in to access the Wi-Fi. Put the email of a person you don't like and check every box yep. that you are interested in their marketing yep. and newsletters. Yep. It's such a like low stakes and easy way to kind to of... To get vengeance in a... To get vengeance in a safe way, I think. It's you're not, safe. Yes, it's immature, but it's it's a safer immature Yeah, route. you're not ding-dong ditching. You're not committing arson. No. You're putting a goddamn email in a box. And what's wrong with that? Yeah. All right, anyway... Okay, so Spirit Night Doug. Oh, okay. So posted the video. It was our junior year, and at some point or another, I look in my Facebook message requests from a man, a very old man named Doug. Doug actually is the father, I believe, of a, another kid who's like in our school, but they're estranged. I don't believe they talk. Whatever. Uh, yeah. But he's like, "Great job on the video, Grant." <gasps> wink, wink, or whatever. Okay interesting when a, why is someone's when an, dad messaging me when that? a man 15. when a man 30 years your senior <laughs> sends you a wink wink you better be ready to dial 911 yeah and i should have i wish i did but from that point on he just started he would message me on everything oh, like it's so, so gross weird. that it was high school that it started and then it went all the way to college when a rando <gasps> gay at fsu messages me and it's like Hey, do you know Funky Boy all day long? Because that was his fucking username on everything. And I was like, what? And he was like, uh, no judgment to this gay at FSU, but he was on Seeking Arrangements, which I guess is an app or a website mm -hmm. that connects you with sugar daddies. Mm -hmm. Funky Boy all day long, also known as Doug, changed his location to Florida State and was asking people if he had if they had grant the gay cheerleaders nudes and so Ew, i just got chills yeah and so then i at this point i started collecting all my evidence and i was going to go to the police when i got home and it turns out he was actually arrested in a sting operation where yeah, the, the njpd um pretended that they were like a minor home alone on grinder and they like got a bunch of people and he was one of them but then i saw him at the applebee's in shut Bridgewater. the fuck up you did yeah so he's definitely a free man of some sort he's probably, well, he's like probably a, registered. a registered sex offender yeah. i saw him at applebee's did you run no i stared him down he was across the room like at the fucking bar it wasn't hillsborough applebee's too it was the one by chuck e cheese yeah i'm familiar in bridgewater i believe and no i just stared him down i was like you f i wish i kind of did something else yeah. I like spilled my drink on him. Oh my god. Called him a slur. Well, get his email next time you're at Newark Airport. Yep. <laughs> Put funky it's probably funky day funky boy all day long at gmail.com. <laughs> um, Anywho. Well, I'm sorry you had that experience. That's disgusting. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Anyways. Oh, yeah, let's talk about parties in high school. Party? Okay, so our Where town, like there were a lot of chill ass fucking parents because there was a party every weekend. This was weird because, yeah, this is weird for the parents because I, either they were whole, either the kid had an open house. Yeah. Well, also there was a thing called open house and they would be like posted in like Facebook groups or group chats. And like anyone can show up. But a lot of times it was like, like a freshman who just wanted to be like cool uh, yeah. would throw these open house parties and like the entire school would show up. There was this one party one summer. It was an open house party. I think I, I forget how old the girl was either a freshman or a sophomore. And the house burnt down. No. I, were you there? Oh, no. The girl, some girl had an open house and then her house burnt down. <gasps> oh, my God. And then I was like, the only reason that I knew her when this when the news came out about the house burning down and I was like, oh, whose house was it? And then they said the name. I was like, oh, oh, my God, that girl had an open house. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, so it was like a social. The party status. I'm thinking of, like, Grant, I showed up late. Uh, when I showed up, Grant, the house was already, like, literally, like, demolished. Like, insane. Like, all the outdoor furniture was in the pool. <gasps> the vases were in the pool. Like, who was? How that's old are so you? so rude. I was maybe going into, I was going into junior year. The thing about high school parties was there was, like, a status thing involved. Of course. Like, 
if you threw a good party you go up on on this ladder it put you on the fucking <laughs> map. map like no grim but that's why the freshmen would throw open house Cause parties cause trying it would to put like... them on the fucking map i can't like but like it works because there are like five people i'm thinking of right now where i know their first and last name and their address because they threw a killer <laughs> a killer open house party in high school and i'm like Oh, I never spoke to her, but she threw a nice party. And you know what? If you are a CEO of a company and that girl applied to work at your company, would you hire her? Of course. I'd be like, you threw a sick party. <laughs> um, I can't think right now. Oh, <laughs> did you drink your drink? Yeah. I can't. What? I'm freaking out. Why are you tweaking? No, we had instead of. Are you high? No. It might be a first wave. I was kind of feeling something too, but I didn't drink that much. Cause oh I, my God. So you're to lying. Freak me out. We had poppy cocktails, but instead of Svedka today, we put in this thing called <laughs> Nowadays and it's cannabis. <laughs> so I'm freaking out. Oh my God. But I think it's fine. I'm just, there was one party that I went to. Oh, it sounds terrible. What? There was one party I went to. I don't remember what it was. I was DDing people or something, so I didn't drink. Whose party was it? I don't know. It was a basement, of course. Was I there? I think so. But I don't think we drove. I out your back I, for some reason, drove Liz home, I think. Our friend Liz. And we back. It's raining. (gasps) The cars are parallel parked along, like, this person's neighborhood. (laughs) And I put the car in reverse to like get out of the spot and I rammed the car behind me. <laughs> like it was like Poof. and I again I'm not drunk. I don't drink and drive. I was D de- I was sober. I was DD. Did you check for damage? Yes. And I get out and Liz gets out too. Liz is drunk though. And she's like, there's nothing. Of course. There's nothing. She would be like, let's go. Yeah. But I honestly I think it was my car that was scratched. The other car had nothing. And so I we were like, go, 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 go. And we left. Do you know whose car it was? No. <gasps> Sorry if you're listening. But there was literally no damage. Yeah. I would have. It would have yeah. been a whole. Statue I also did that at FSU. Oh. I backed into a. In the woodlands? Into a pickup truck. No. Oh. Uh, no, it was. <gasps> a, I had a pickup truck. Was there no damage? There was no damage. Yeah, Not my okay, little Hyundai Sorry. Elantra. Exactly. You know the balls that are at the end of a pickup truck that you hit your. No. Hit oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Your to. boat. I hit the ball. Oh, okay. Because this okay, truck there, was so elevated off the ground. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Even if there was um, damage, I would have kept driving because who knows what kind of person that drives. Yeah. That. You know, he probably has a gun. Wait. I have um a theory that I've been working on that I want to make into like a bigger like dissertation mm-hmm. if I ever get my PhD. Mm-hmm. Which hey, life's long, right? I you might. might. Right. I think that kids in new jersey and maybe the tri-state area are so horned up and like drinking and doing crazy things because they have access to basements basements add a whole layer of privacy basements but in the comfort of your own home. yes like basements give you so much privacy when you're like a teenager because like okay say you have like a boy over you go into the basement and like you could literally yeah because kind of just like because the (laughs) <laughs> okay because the stereotype is you're no boys on the second floor right yeah okay what about, what about ground underground zero? what about underground no and it's so true because i feel like like the reason there were so many parties and stuff is kind of parents were like okay like i'm not i don't see it like out of right? sight out of out mind because the kids are fucking throwing up and getting drunk in the basement and if you if there are any milfs watching again like we were talking about go check on them if you have oh a basement, my God. Too, go, go check go on go them. Check. You might want to knock first because that could be awkward. Yeah. But it is so true. And I'm oh going to tell the story God. of me and the girl who I'm, I guess I'm no longer friends with. Again, we need a nickname. Oh, Stacy. Is- we named her Stacy. Oh, Stacy. Stacy. So me and Stacy and Ashley and our other friend. We were at our friend D's house. Oh, we could say D's. Yeah, of course. I love it. Shout out. But to even D's. the story. Oh. Great. All right. Yeah, we didn't ask permission. Okay, let's call her. We. It was June. Okay. For for legal purposes, the names in this story have been changed. So 
we are at our friend June's house and her dad is not home. So she's got the whole house. Another thing about high school was if you had a friend with divorced parents, you could get away with a lot. Yeah, because likely someone's not home in the two different locations that the parents are living. Yeah. So we were at her divorced father's house and they had a basement. And it was, I guess, a hookup fest because it was (laughs) Ashley and this the psycho boy we don't like, Antonio. Mm -hmm. And then June and this other boy, Derek. And then Stacy and, and then somehow it was Stacy and me. Yeah, because Stacy's boyfriend probably left. Yeah, I guess Stacy's boyfriend wasn't there or whatever. So do you hear that? Yeah. Whatever. Oh, but this night we had all smoked a ton of gravity bongs. <laughs> we did? <laughs> yeah, for those who don't oh, know, well, that probably explains. a gravity bong is when you burn a hole in a plastic water bottle and put it in a bigger plastic bottle <laughs> and like smoke weed, but you get like it's like, first of all, so bad for you because you're just breathing in all Ew. the carcinogens from the plastic water and you just get really high. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, we're in a basement and then there's like a room and it's like a door and everything. So it's like the basement's divided. Me and Stacy are in one room and June and Derek are are literally hooking up in the other room. Like, it's a known thing that June and Derek were hooking up, and then upstairs, Ashley and Antonio were hooking up on an air mattress. <laughs> and so, for I don't know what sparked it, but me and Stacy were like, let's go, like, let's go. I know it sparked it, the gravity ball. <laughs> yeah, it was probably, let's go spy on Derek and June in the other room. And so we, like, turned off the lights in our room, the basement, because the lights were off in the other room. And then we slowly open the door and we put on blankets over us too so that we would just blend in with the darkness and we army crawled into the room. And I don't think we thought that they were actually like having sex or anything. Like I think we were, we were, we From were what I early remember, to it. Oh no, I thought you guys thought you were late to it. So it would uh, just yeah, be like funny, thought, like you're gonna like surprise them. Yeah, or yeah, like I think we did want to like jump out and, and scare, scare them. them. But we go in again, we're being so quiet, like the door is like shut now. So we're in and they start having sex. And we are in f- like I'm not kidding, we're like three feet in front of the bed with the blankets point, over us. And we were deep. like, if we move right now, one, we're gonna make noise. Two, like we can't even open the door because that would make noise. Like we were fucked. I remember me and Stacy were just sitting there, like in shock. Like yeah. we were shook and like frozen. But really. I will say I June l- and Derek both heard about it after and thought it was really Does funny. Does Derek know? Yeah. Like, okay, but this is karma because you did have this weird thing in high school where you thought it would be funny to walk in on your friends hooking up with people. <laughs> you would always try to walk in on me hooking up with someone. And not prom weekend. I yes, mean. prom weekend. Like Grant was this like animal trying to bust in on people. Oh my up. god. I don't know what was wrong with me. You just thought it was funny. I just think the like shock of it all is funny, but like Also when you're young, like it is funny. Also, like I'm not hoping to walk in and like the nitty gritty of it. Like it's kinda like Yeah, you're not trying to jerk off. No, I no. Oh god. Oh my god, I don't even know. And it's not even that deep. Now I feel like I'm it sounds like I had a problem. (laughs) It sounds like I literally (laughs) like what was Oh my no, god. But other like when you're young and like immature, like other people were doing it with you. Like yeah, everyone no, thought it wasn't it was funny. It, and it but, but it was, wasn't every day. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, it was like at parties or but like it was like there was this thing if you like slept over after a party, like I remember senior year one time I was sleeping in someone's basement after a party and like <gasps> there were times oh, I, when yeah. people just start having sex next like, to you. Like in the way like that they everyone's laying on the floor or on the couch like of this basement. 30 kids sleeping in a basement. And then the person fucking next thing you know, <laughs> hello, this has happened to me and it's happened to the person next to me on the couch that I've listened to. <laughs> what do you mean? Wasn't it you in your basement? Well, yeah, but that was a different time. That was... Oh, how many times was it? I don't... 
No, I'm saying it's happened to me where oh, I've well, you've been... witnessed it. Okay, well, it's happened so many times that you've witnessed it. I've witnessed it. I've witnessed it <laughs> you of <do>. you. <laughs> you've been no, on both No, but seriously, ends. there's nothing worse than, like, when you're trying to fall asleep. All of a sudden, these two people next to you start like, fucking. <laughs> and you have to pretend you're asleep. Are you serious? Like... Jesus. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> let's get into prom weekend. Prom weekend. Prom weekend. Like, it's almost something you start thinking about when you're literally in, like, sixth grade in our town like, yeah like, like there and start like, fucking looking at houses and you stuff. like you know it's gonna be fucking debaucherous and crazy we went to a town uh, we went to the town where they filmed jersey shore seaside, like our town seaside heights hillsborough would go to seaside heights for prom weekend and you would have to like there were certain houses that were like passed down from generation to generation like this the grade above you like this group went to this house yeah you so to, like you have to go to that house yeah like it, it was so Weird. Ah, um, where? What was our address? One Eleven Lincoln. What? Why do we remember? <laughs> I thought oh. about it all the time, and we threw a, a a God Bless America party because of yeah. Lincoln. Oh, that's why that was that. Okay. Well, I had a boyfriend during this era, so yeah. I thought I was like so. But also, I went like decided to go to prom last minute because that I, was so you though, Grant being like. Uh, prom it was because of florida state cheer tryouts yeah they were that weekend or something and then i was like well i'm only gonna have my senior prom once and it's true and I, I yeah looking back i could have got on the cheer team yeah whenever they take boys go try out you guys yeah. right go, go Noles. Noles, right oh so i like my boyfriend at that time miguel yeah also lived in like nearby like in tom's river yeah, he, was a local. he was a local practically so i after prom went to tom's river and then slept over and then i met them yeah because i didn't have a spot in the prom house that was another thing like i wasn't no you yeah but Grant, God, i wouldn't a, want to no you had a spot in the house you never spot on the, the bus, bus. And that on the party bus that went from prom because you have to pay in advance the <laughs> party bus that went from our friend's yeah. Our friend's from house. From the hot, from the Hilton. Oh, the friend's house. He, it went from our friend's house. We changed at his house and then we took our party bus to 111 Lincoln at Seaside. And we all drank four locos beforehand. So I went to prom with our friend. We'll call him Adam. And I wanted to hook up with Adam. Yeah, and it was a known thing. Like, it was and like I had, very preface. Yeah. I like, like I feel like I told all his friends. I knew. Yeah. I feel like, like I was the very, seed was planted. I was very open about it. <laughs> we get on the party bus to Seaside. And I'm like, okay. Like, I'm trying to like flirt. And then I'm just like, damn, like the vibes pussy are just, out for Adam. yeah, like pussy out for Adam <laughs> on my way to seaside. And like the vibes are just not there, Grant. So Did I'm like, people what the change fuck? on yeah, the bus? Yeah, I was wearing, on the I was wearing my sluttiest, no, at our friend's house before. I was wearing oh. my sluttiest yoga pants, a fucking bombshell push up bra, and like a zip up sweatshirt. Like a slutty ass. It was like sweat. And I still had my prom glam. Was it like casual? Like it was it like, like, oh, we're the cozy. PJs. It was like slutty PJs, but then you had your prom glam. Yeah. So my hair was like done with my updo and then I had my makeup on. And so I was trying to get with Adam, wasn't working. So I was like, okay, what the fuck? <laughs> and then we get to our prom house and I'm like, okay, like one one last ditch effort, right? So I'm <laughs> like, okay, I'm going to try to hook up with Adam. <laughs> Next thing I know, <laughs> I turn. Adam is hooking up with our other friend who's, who's also a redhead. a redhead. Oh, my God. It was like the ultimate, like, a betrayal. Because it's one thing if you just hook up with someone else, fine. Like, it's not like we're dating. Like, it's we're just friends, whatever. But the fact that it was with another redhead, like, in our friend group, Grant, I was betrayed. Yeah. So, was a plot what twist. else is there to do but then to go find someone else to hook up with? Hello, it's did prom you, night. Did you hook up one? Oh. <laughs> so from across the room, I lock eyes with Antonio. Is this the first time? This is the first uh, time. Sorry, guys. We're going in a little bit of a backwards order. I lock eyes with Antonio and I'm like, oh, I have to have this man. So little did I know what I was getting myself into. So yeah. Antonio and I hook up. And this is when I should have known that there was a red flag for the next couple months we spent together. Does this have to do with the lights? No. We, oh. oh, that's another thing. We <laughs> hook up. We hook up, right? And then we're done. And 
he's like searching frantically around the room and i'm like is is everything okay and he's like yeah i just i just lost something i'm like okay like i can't help you look for it like what are like he's like panicking he's looking so frantically i'm like what is it he goes my can of dip <laughs> great like you thought actually, this man just lost his birth certificate actually, i was laughing this whole time Why? because i thought Hi. you were gonna say condom <laughs> that's another that happened to me once but that I was, thought it was this time no that was he was looking around the room trying to act <laughs> like it was somewhere <laughs> but it was in your pussy <laughs> That happened a few years later in college. I'm freaking out. Oh no, my god, this nowadays. Antonio lost his can of dip and then for some reason that wasn't <laughs> That's a That's so gross. I know. Also, like, was I making out with him and there was dip and there was in his dip mouth? In Did it he get in my mouth? Yeah. I think I would have known. But anyway, <laughs> even after the can of dip, I'm like, I think I love this man. <laughs> oh my god. And that started me down a dangerous rabbit hole, y'all. A A word of wisdom for our listeners. If you hook up with a man and he's frantically searching for his dip after, he's going to f*** with you. (gasps) Bleep that. (laughs) He's going to probably be crazy and do something legal one day. Do something crazy to you. Take it from me. This man did me so dirty. And one day, probably on a redacted, I'll tell you what he did to me. You guys can't even begin to guess. You guys can't even begin <laughs> to <laughs> Grant knows. You guys would never believe what Antonio did to me. <laughs> oh my god. Our headphones Grant's are plugged. Nowadays is going crazy. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what? I was gonna say it's the way you're saying it so <laughs> casually, like it happens to like like it happens all the time. Like, oh, he did me so dirty. No, like he, guys, what this man, so what this man crazy. Antonio did to me, I don't think many people could relate to. <laughs> High school was crazy. We got into a lot of shenanigans. Um, one last thing, hickey culture. Hi, oh. this is the last. Like, okay, this is the last thing we can discuss. This, or we should discuss. I don't know when y'all discovered you could get hickeys, but I discovered it. Pretty early on in yeah. high school, when pe- girls would show up with they would wear it giant... so proudly. You like, know oh the God, way people happened? wear. Oh, this might be crazy. You know the way people like walk around on Ash Wednesday. <laughs> 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 That's how people were walking around our high school hallways with hickeys. <laughs> so people on Ash Wednesday look like they're walking around with hickeys on, on their forehead. On their no, forehead. people would have necklaces of hickeys on, y'all. <laughs> huge and like Disgusting. sometimes it's like oh my god do you need to see a doctor <laughs> sometimes it was like oh my god i don't <laughs> think that this was right like right. sometimes it was literally like oh my god are vampires real right and were you attacked yeah holy shit did you ever like have a hickey yeah. oh you knew a bitch had a crazy weekend when she would show up to <laughs> With school a wearing an infinity scarf and it was 80 degrees out <laughs> Oh yeah, when you know a bitch a thing, had a crazy weekend. Yeah, there was a thing where the like, girls would wear scarves and like other girls would talk about it because they'd be like, "Oh well, you know, it's seventy degrees out." Yo, oh why? They'd be like, "Oh my god, that has happened to me once. One time, I had to wear an infinity scarf." I, probably, I would probably. I think it was you. May. All the uh, girls in my gym class. Oh, it's seventy degrees. Why are you wearing? <laughs> and it, great, I was wearing it with my gym clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing Sophie shorts, <laughs> Sophie shorts, a t-shirt, sneakers, and an infinity scarf because I had such crazy hickeys. Oh my god! I think I have like a crazy picture of you in an infinity Probably. scarf in like a bun. But the thing is, you guys like I really didn't hook up with that many people in high school. Like I like people like told me I looked like a naked mole rat. So like. I was probably so proud when I got a hickey. It's like finally. I know that's probably some what. Cook. Do you think the girls who went in without infinity scarves were like, "I want these bitches to know I'm not to be played with." <laughs> like I want these bitches to know like, my neck got sucked on. <laughs> Did you ever get a hickey? Yes. I remember and you I had used- really bad ones in college. Once. Are you serious? Yeah. Guys, 
we're gonna talk well, about my whore because era there's also eventually. like i feel like past a certain age if you oh my god i would have like, horrible ones in college because i remember people at yeah. cheer and my coaches would make fun of me no it's like so embarrassing like past like maybe like 18 or 19 if you're getting hickeys it's like okay that's like the thing. all over that's your neck it's like okay i really need to hide this that's the thing did you ever do the <laughs> spoon thing yes oh that, my god but it doesn't really work that no. well i also tried like pennies i feel like tried any metallic kind of surface i've had friends cover up hickeys for me i think you've probably uh, you've never hung up, uh, covered up a hickey for me oh before. i'm sure i, I brought like my concealer have, over but my concealer was too pale, too pale. Yeah. Yeah. oh my god but like seriously it's embarrassing they'll pass a certain age no so embarrassing also like you know that that does that now also if it's that hard what's going on right oh my god right. and like grant like sometimes i just remember like my friends hickeys like i can't even stress enough how dark and crazy these hickeys were they, they became purple and Look, yellow some of them would be like a yellow like they purple had just like competed in a 48 hour paintball tournament <laughs> well <laughs> like they got a, well a fucking pool ball oh my thrown God. into their neck grant, i remember <laughs> i went to this party freshman year of high school <laughs> And it was like uh, this kid had gotten in a car accident and he was okay. So oh this my is like God, sorry, I was so, no, so this was like a party to like celebrate and to oh, like get, oh, get fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did he get I into was, the car accident in the first place? It wasn't like drunk driving it, okay, or anything. Good. No. So I okay. show up to this party and I hook up with this gentleman in Freshman like year? yes, in the mulch outside. So I like mulch. <laughs> you were rolling and in then, a pile yeah it's like mulch like how like that's like the least sexy terrain you could roll around <laughs> on don't you agree yeah wait i can't even think of less sexy did terrain. anyone see you i mean i'm sure i think our friend jenny was plucking the mulch out of my hair but anyway the next day was my 15th birthday <laughs> like what does hook up so, mean at that age just like make out and roll around and rub and tug yeah and maybe like touch touch a boob so you're like Okay. I don't think I was rubbing and tugging anything. Okay. But maybe he touched my boob. Okay. Anyway, I show up. The next day is my family party <laughs> for my 15th birthday. So, like, my grandparents are there, my aunt, uncle, my cousin, and I have keys <laughs> on my neck. Multiple. Yes. Yeah, so, Grant, I'm pretty That's sure thing too. there's I've a never... picture of me blowing out my cake and I'm wearing an infinity scarf. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing too how are you these girls get a multiple like you They're had like multiple on your neck sucking around your but i also feel I like, like I think these I... men it was like like they were a dog peeing on a fire hydrant yeah like they had to mark their territory okay so that's i guess that's the psychology of it it's men marking their territory yeah. and then also women it's a competitive thing like watch out like because i'm one i'm taken two <laughs> Like, let's talk about the evolution no, yeah. of Darwinism, of hickeys. Like, one, I'm taking. I also feel... Two, don't fuck with me I, because I but, get action. But an, I have, like, kind of, like, a more negative stance on it. Uh -oh. I also feel like a lot you of young women are... You think it's God punishing? Oh, God, no. Oh. No, I also think a lot of young women are passive when it comes to, like, hooking up and stuff. So, like, if a man's, like, sucking on their neck, they're not going to, like, be like, get off me. You know what I mean? Well, what about gay men? Gay men, I don't... I really couldn't speak to that. So straight men don't get hickeys? No, a straight man can get a hickey. Oh. That was always funny to see. Oh, it is straight. Like, yeah, because just, how are they hiding it? They, they wouldn't. They would they, flaunt it. Yeah. Oh, God, would they flaunt it? Or they would not even know what it was, probably. No, but sometimes, like, seriously, like, you'd walk around the hallway and there'd be a straight man with hickey. You'd be like, okay, Jesus Christ, that's a little flashy, no? Yeah. And sometimes and, like, when it was someone unexpected. No, was there anything worse, like... Your teacher would see your hickeys. <laughs> like, uh, the announcements for the good of the group teacher would see that. Yes. And like that's like like y'all like I wouldn't my, want her to see like, that. Seventy five year old like Spanish teacher saw my <laughs> hickey. Kill me. Literally kill me. Oh god, that's terrible. Oh good god. All right, well, I guess that's like our culture. Where we come from. Where we come from. The history of Hillsborough High School. Oh, can I discuss one more crazy thing? There was a thing called Senior Scav. And this was... <sighs> 
this was disgusting and our year like didn't really do it it kind of flopped but like every year before us like it always sounded i wonder if so they crazy. continue to do it after probably yeah yeah just our grade didn't do it i think our grade tried though but it was like with criminals oh basically y'all like four kids in your grade would make the most heinous scavenger hunt list you've ever seen it would be like Get titty fucked on the football field before school Wait, for like a a cash prize, of like, <laughs> like hundred bucks, <laughs> split between like six people. Yeah, but okay, but one you, of the items. But wait, 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 wait. Oh. The most fucked up part: you had to film everything you did and send it into those four judges who were just oh like my. in your grade. Oh, you want to be a congressman one day? Oh, sorry, David from your grade has a video of you getting titty fucked on the football field. Yeah, right. Well, I want to say that. There was a crazy thing that happened the year above us where one of the items, I guess, was to take a fucking sex tape on the football field on the big H and post it on Pornhub. They're 18, mind you, but like still and people fully did it. Yeah. Not only did people fully do it, but the the person may or may not have had their period. And the video title was called Bloody Mary. It really went around. Are you serious? It really went around. Are you serious? All love to the girl, though. I love that girl. I don't know the guy either, really. I think there's still a couple. Literally? It might be. That's (laughs) no hate to these people. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Actually, don't do it. (laughs) Iconic. Yeah. For sure. Honestly, if they own it today. No, but the thing is, the thing about Senior Scab Grant, when we were. What? I thought you were pointing at my butt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the, the, thing, the thing about senior scab was when we were juniors and like the grade above us, this was like my older brother's grade. So <laughs> they, the thing on the list, what? Are you, didn't you have to do something? No, 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 no. The thing, the like special rule for the senior scab list that year was everything was double points if you did it with a ginger. So like my, like everyone was hitting my line and I literally was like, I'm like the hottest person in the world right now. <laughs> Can I, I was just for double points. What? The first time I ever made out with someone. <laughs> What's for senior scab? And I was a freshman. It was like make out with a freshman was the item. And this girl, this really pretty blonde girl, Kelly, made out with me. Oh, no. Well, and I was like, people, were people like, thought I was so cool. Like I was getting dapped up in the hallways. Uh, one of the things was to like make out with a junior and and. They were asking me because then it would be double points. And I said no to everyone. But I had a big crush on this one guy grade older than us. And yeah, so I was like, I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> so I oh did it. God. I'm sure there's a video somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that was just the piece of some of our high school horniness stories or whatever the hell was going on. It with really? Those was a crazy time there was another game called senior assassins which was a big water gun fight and there was a cash prize again this is all outside of school it's not sanctioned by the school but it's like tradition it's a tradition yeah and me and ashley elected ourselves we got it through our thick fucking skulls that we would be the best people to judge this competition for our grade and And it went Horribly Boy, wrong. did it come to bite us in the ass. We were getting threats. We I, were threats. Grant and I literally have enemies this day because, because of, of senior assassins game. and this water gun fight. Like, there are people who, if I pass them on the street, they would call me a bitch and ask for your $10 back. No, like, game. we were getting harassed. I had to dial 911 once because I thought I was going to get punched by a man. I had to make a notes app apology to our whole grade. And then even after we graduated, well, let's just say there was a plan to attack us once. Yep. And and we'll go into it. And you can hear all about that in Redacted. Yeah. Sorry, right? Oh, guys, it's juicy. (laughs) Sorry, right? Subscribe to our Patreon. All right, well, that was our high school experience. Oh, my God, did we laugh. Go Raiders. Did we cry? Go Burrow. B-O-R-O. Burrow, Burrow. Go, go. We were really all horned up. A twink. And a redhead. (laughs) And now let's head into announcements for the good of the group. (sighs) This announcement is from Mallory. Mallory. She's a loyal fan. Mallory. Do you know the word for um, male deer is mallard? 
Wait, not dear duck. Who asked? Well, Mallory Mallard. Okay, I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> Hello, I have to say I am so happy that the two hottest people on the internet have returned with their iconic podcast. I've been a longtime fan for a while, and I have an announcement for the good of the group. And my announcement is that a Long Island accent is the hottest accent. I would love to know if you agree. If you disagree, what is the hottest accent? For me, it's Long Island. And I know that you guys had a little thing going a few months back. And honestly, it was a bit of a problem. You guys couldn't stop doing it. And I'm, I'm going to say that I started doing it as well, me and my friend. And I have even ended up in a situationship with a man who sounds exactly like Jordan from Wolf of Wall Street. He's Jordan. I'm Victoria. We've got this whole thing going. And you know what? The Long Island accent, it's doing things for me. It's really doing things for me. And I just have to know, is it, is it doing things for you? It's the hottest accent. Please tell me if you agree. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, my God. So we're going to have to disagree. I'm going to have to disagree with Hard you. But you disagree. know what? You know what? Do I love to do an accent? Yes. Oh, my God. Absolutely do I? love it. Also, you know, a Long Island accent or something, this kind of accent. The man has a schlong. And I'm not saying like a big, like it's not long necessarily, but it's a sausage. You think that if a man has a Long Island accent, he's got a sausage. They have a third leg. Yes. But again, not more so in girth. Yeah. There are, okay. Because I have a theory that if you were like kind of like a skater in high school or like uh, or in life, you have a long, thin cock. <laughs> No, like the skater boys, Grant, we're always packing fucking heat. It's because like, wait, also, don't you think skater boys are just, well, some skater boys are gay, but the straight ones, aren't they just kind of straight twinks? Yes, Grant, because there was a man I had a brief affair with. In Is this I, Antonio? Well, no. Oh. Uh, and he was a skater boy and he was literally just like a 6'2 twink. <laughs> it's interesting, huh? Like, if, yeah. if I was in a twink right now or something, like, yeah. I'd be a skater boy. I you would, would skateboard. literally be a Zoomies right now. Yeah. Oh, my God. Anyways. Anyway. The um, hottest accent, I think, is kind one, of British. Oh, I was going to say Irish. Australian. I love an okay. Irish accent. <laughs> I think Irish accents are not. They don't tickle That's my pickle. the most They're unpopular cool. opinion. Actually, no. You know how you get into an Ireland Irish accent? How? You just say, Ireland. Ireland. Hello. I think I need to fight to Guinness at, in Ireland. Give me a sentence to say in an accent. Okay. Um, Ashley is so gorgeous and I really love her. Yeah, but what's the accent? Oh. <laughs> um, Australian. <laughs> Ashley is so gorgeous. Oh, good God. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ashley. <laughs> Ashley is so gorgeous. Oh, so fuck. stunning. It's and not, absolutely phenomenal. It's not bad, but it's not good. Yeah. Jemay. Jemay the private. Ashley the, is so stunning. I could I could do Southern. Oh, we could both do Southern. Hey, y'all. I how y'all do doing? I all day. got that Southern draw. Let's go, Knowles. Oh, my God. Come go. on, Knowles. No, but I love an Irish accent. Oh, my God. They just sound so... It's like music to my ears. It's like a goddamn... A, Bach Orchestra is playing in my ears when Paul Meskel speaks. Huh. Okay. Well, Mallory. Best of luck to you and your and Long your Island sausage, love. And your long sausage island boyfriend. Oh, right? my God. I know he's packing a sausage. And I know you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mallory, send your best to your Long Island love. Mallory. I wish you all the best. If you guys get married, think of us. To officiate. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> think of us. Kids, we only charge, what is it, 10K an hour? An hour, yeah. We only charge 10K an hour. We can do add a bonus of a performance of a song. For 25K. For 25K, we'll add that. No ch- no additional charge other than that. And Mallory, we're giving you a goddamn bargain. Yeah. Oh, good Are you God. serious? Oh, good God. Your Long Island love. Make sure you're marrying into money. That's the oh. most important thing. That's the most important thing. Yeah. All right. Or the potential for money to be made. That's important, too. Make sure this man has ambition, Mallory. Yeah. You, you deserve the best. <laughs> what God. if she's the breadwinner? Even better. Yeah. Even better. Get yeah. yourself a hot Long Island stay-at-home dad. Yeah. Oh, my God. With a nice sausage. <laughs> That's the most important part. The, so- the size of that sausage. <laughs> the girth of that sausage. 
Okay, well. We gotta go. We do have it's to go. Help. If you want to uh, send an announcement for the good of the group, you can go on our Patreon somehow. Y'all, you let's, guys know let's how to keep do it, it in the let's keep it in the minute minute and a half range. <laughs> yeah, max. We already cut so much from this podcast because we just keep rambling. We can't shut the fuck up. So, so keep please, your announcement keep, snappy. Keep it snappy. Keep it juicy and keep it controversial. Yeah. Keep it. Keep it. I want to be fucking what? pissing my pants. I'm freaking out so hard. Yeah. But don't be verbose about it. I'm seeing a right? lot of announcements where I'm just like, okay. And I am. You know what? You don't want us to say, okay. And yeah. You want us to say, okay. Oh, and shit. And what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. You want me gasping. You want us fucking, you want our pussies gaping. Oh my oh Wait. God, do they? Oh. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Have a good week, you All right. suckers. Now for Redacted. Subscribe to our Patreon. A twink.